Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome back to our Alberta mining pit. Oh, boy. Uh, Gertie and I have been kind of busy down here. You know what? If you guys watched the last our last episode, you know we've been doing a ton of work down here. It's just taken, it's taken some serious time. The driving that Gertie's been doing in that dump truck, guys, is... Well, she has to get all the way up there. So today I'm going to try to find ways to make this a little bit quicker. Um, it might mean hiring some more people. It might mean buying another dumb truck. I've got another plan as well. But we need to need to find a way to make this pit process a little bit better. I think we need to find a way to make this go a little quicker and, uh, and get this taken care of. Because the time I'm sitting down here waiting, waiting is a long time. So let's get to work on this. Figure out better ways to do this, guys. Bitter batter. All right, well, we've got to load this up one more time. Uh, we've got quite a bit of a uh, product, actually, that's been brought up today. We've sold off a bunch more just to try to make a little bit more money as fast as we can here. And I want to go do some spending. I got some spending to go do today, and we're going to upgrade. We're definitely upgrading, and this mine is going to be starting to kick into high gear. Slowly clutch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, a, just a little bit of weight up here. We need to we need to get the weight for this thing as well. Holy! Yeah, let's just just ease it up. Just just ease it up, nice and slowly, like. Don't worry about it. You're still in good shape. All you got to do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Oh, uh, I should have. I kind of quit doing the full bucket. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get up on top. There we go. Oh! There we go. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, there we go. Best driver in mind sim. Uh, let's see. Drop this in. Uh, that's better. Yeah, it's a little heavy with a full load of brocks. Um, <laughs> we need to fix that. Anyways, that's that's one thing we got to take care of. But guys, this is only like half the problem. Uh, my other half is up top. I'd rather not have to take everything up there. Now, I, I found, I think I found a bit of a solution. And we're going to expand on that today. So, right now, getting everything loaded up down here is, well, one, one part of our, our, our fix. If I could just leave the JCB down here and I don't have to go up, to, up top every single time, that's awesome. But for right now, we're still going to have to do it. Oh, guess she's full. All right, Gertie. Uh, Gertie's got a full load, guys. We'll, uh, we'll let her go. But up top, you know what? Let me. Uh, I'm going to follow her up and we'll go take a look. And I'll show you what, what we've done so far. But we, like I said, we, we're going to need a few more things up there still. Yeah, we're still going to need a few more options up there. Let's follow her up. But guys... Of all the things that's really sinking as much time in, it's the drive. This drive up here is treacherous, of course. It's a dangerous drive. It's a long drive. And this is really what's what's eaten up so much of the time between between loads. I mean, it takes me literally, I can load that thing in, what, three, four minutes? We can load that dump truck, a couple buckets. And then we have to wait. It's, it's usually 15 minutes by the time that she gets up to the top, unloads, and then comes back on down. It is a long, long wait. And trying to automate that process is really is really where we need to figure that out. Uh, we're going to need, I think, a couple more dump trucks. I think the dump truck is probably the best way to go. I wouldn't mind going to something a little bit bigger than what we got going. But you know what? This is working for now. But I've got, you know what? We'll figure something else a little later here today, I think. I think that's what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. We blew the doors right off Gertie there. Gertie's still on our way up. It's going to be a bit for her. But anyways, she'll be up here in a second. This is what we've come up with instead. So... Instead of having her drop everything right in there and it becomes a whole mess, it's a lot easier if we just kind of make her drop out in front and then push everything into the conveyor belt. I've been using the Bobcat for this, but there's got to be... I think we should get a bulldozer of some sort and then we could just push it into that into place. It'll be a lot easier. I mean, this this works, but it's a bit of a pain and we got to kind of keep on top of it a lot more. Uh, like, yeah, we could do this. I don't have a problem with it, but it'd be a lot faster if we could just grab some kind of a... A bulldozer push it up here and push it into, into into the conveyor belt that would be the way to do this that would be way faster than what i'm doing right now oh and speaking of which here she comes right now you know what let me just get this out of the way i'll let her dump first all right nice nice and easy now nice and easy slow her down let's let's dump this in yeah right there that looks good that there looks that looks good right there gertie perfect all right uh we'll see how much we're gonna get guys we got like a lot Look at all the stuff we've got down there. I've got to unload that. I'm not going to worry about that for today. I am only going to worry about this. Oh, we better turn this on, I suppose. Yeah, we're not going to worry about the far pits. We're just going to worry about what we can get off of. Well, into this right now. And like I said, this is a bit of a pain for me because using this Bobcat is... What? It doesn't have the biggest bucket in the world. It's just a pain. And once we got a bunch more loaded up here, 
once more trucks come we need to find a way to just push this into this conveyor belt a little bit more efficiently and i've already got a solution all right Gordy, you're heading back down already all right well I'll, I'll see you down there in a bit or maybe you can figure out how to use that front loader i don't know anyways um i'm gonna push the rest of this in for now and we'll see if we can automate this process well it's not gonna be an automated let's be honest i'm gonna need to hire someone to do this or i may just do it myself to be honest once we get enough up here but i've got a plan i got a plan and here is our plan look at this uh i went and made a purchase it's old but it, it's not bad now it's not a lot of weight to be honest with you i was just weighing this on the old scales here it's only it's only like ten thousand pounds this thing that doesn't seem quite right but anyways this is it right here we got a fiat bulldozer it's just a little guy in the grand scheme of things it's, she's a little old it's it's old and it's little but it's gonna do just for what we're gonna use it for right now this is gonna be okay uh we'll give this a shot and see if we can get this to work guys but <laughs> not bad this thing only we got this for i mean it's it's definitely been well used and abused it looks like they just threw us a, a fresh coat of yellow paint on it to be honest with you but uh you know what 10 grand 10 i think it's 11 5 or something like that is what they were asking we just gave them 10 and they were yeah whatever take it off our hands not bad we'll give this a shot let's see if we can push some uh let's push, push some dirt around and out we go perfect all right let's go put this down beside the pit here and uh, i've still got that roll of rocks we didn't even bother unloading that guys so let's just go and see if we can push that into place gertie's already she's already down the pit i don't know what she's doing but i'm not too worried about it we'll, we'll catch up with her in a bit let's go see if we can push this stuff into our conveyor belt and see how well this is going to work <laughs> oh man this thing is um it, it's it's seen better days let's uh let's fire this up all right nice we started it up before we picked it up of course just to make sure it runs everything seemed to run how you'd expect we're going to, have to do a full mechanical on this i'll throw it over on the ramp over there later on and go through it all but for now let's uh let's push some dirt around nice oh man that's cool you know what i haven't driven one of these in years this thing is great let's push some dirt let's see if we can get close to that conveyor belt perfect drop the blade down and let's push Oh, guys, this is going to work out just perfect. Look at that. <laughs> I couldn't have made this work any better if I tried. This is great. All right. Best purchase ever. Yeah, I'm happy. That is fantastic. Oh, we're able to push so much stuff around. This is great, guys. Look at that. Like one quick little push. That would have taken me like probably five, ten minutes with the bolt or with that little bobcat. This has just been a huge time saver now. I can just do this. Move this dirt around quickly and where we can get out of here. So we'll see what we do with this. Um, I'm not going to do this all the time, but it's going to be enough just to move all of our, our product closer to this little conveyor system we got built up. And it's going to make our lives just that much quicker and easier to get this stuff done. Perfect. Project one. That's great. We're done this part. All right. So we've made a bit of progress up top. Of course, we've autom well, somewhat automated our process up there to make life a little bit easier for us. But like I said, we still need to figure out the trip and that's going to mean more trucks is really what it's going to mean so that means more trucks and more employees oh speaking of speaking of which we just hired somebody new folks uh well Mat matilda i wouldn't i wouldn't call that a new hire you, you guys know matilda right anyways she's good we got a brand new western star Burhan spank well no, it's, it's brand new to us let's be perfectly honest uh i'll show it to you in a sec let me uh let me load up gertie and we'll let her go but we'll take a look at that in a sec here it's um it's something pretty cool um ap apparently Mat Matilda wanted to go check out um, the way out before I loaded her up. Uh, Gertie's loaded. M Matilda's not. Oh, and she might be stuck too. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, hey, look, it's Matilda. I, I hope you had a good. I hope you had a nice drive. That was that was good of you. Thanks, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Um, glad you're back. And you're gone again. Never mind. So there we go. Gertie's on our way back up. She should be back on her way down in a second, actually. But this four-axle Westward Star, Matilda's got this thing. Look at it. Uh, it's from an old construction company that was getting rid of it. So we picked it up. It still cost us 150 k for this. This is the most expensive piece of equipment I think we've bought in today. By quite a bit, guys. By quite a bit. Uh, this, I mean, this is... I wish it had better tires on it, to be honest. We should maybe put some maybe more industrial strength tires. These are more highway tires we get on this thing. But it's got the skip tank on the back, so uh, that'll be good for all the rock we're going to be loading into it. Guys, this this should work pretty well down here for the time being. Now, 
we've got plans for upgrading this stuff eventually but we gotta make some more money first uh we are well we're broke well not broke but we're pretty close to broke after everything we bought now we got the two jump dump trucks we've got all we've got those two uh belts we put up top as well as the, the bulldozer now that pretty much ate into all the profits that we had made to this point so we're gonna have to wait and see guys um we've got a lot of product coming out right now so we're gonna have to probably use these dump trucks to transport the product uh we'll worry about that later on but for now you know what we're just going to, to get going with what we got for now let me dump this all in oh yeah there we go load this right on up come on get on in there how much does this take i i don't know how much we could fill this with it seems like eh, it's got a decent amount at least a little bit more we could probably put in there it looks like and hopefully uh Ger yeah gertie should be on our way back down i don't see anything coming down the hill yet but this is hopefully going to automate our process make it just a little bit quicker is what i'm hoping for like i said guys the drive is really what's killing me right now it takes so long to uh to get everything down here we'll see let me get this loaded back on up perfect and down we go all right oh she's full all right matilda we'll see you in a bit get out of here oh yeah look at this things are coming together we got gertie coming down towards me right now matilda's up on top taking that load up uh, you know what that's cut our time almost in half really in the grand scheme of things uh that's not bad i, li I, I like that that's that's kind of perfect all right let's let's load gertie back on up yeah that's uh that's that's actually pretty slick i'm i'm happy with this so far we'll see how far we can go with that maybe even one more truck i mean we still have to wait here uh a good few minutes one more truck might fix that oh boy i forgot about that forgot 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 forgot, forgot. Step it in. just tap it in give it a little tap shouldn't have filled this bucket all the way up dump 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 quick dump dump quick dump quick there we go no oh, no <laughs> there we go um yeah one more truck would probably solve this problem completely and we wouldn't have to wait at all that could be something we may have to look at doing guys let's see if i can find one more truck or maybe even some bigger trucks which is kind of the way i've been thinking anyways um but bigger problem after this is a solution for well getting all of our product from the crusher into town and uh get it sold off because that that really there i don't have a great solution for that yet right now we're still gonna have to use these current little dump trucks we got to take that away uh let's see here yeah I'd, I'd, I'd rather not do that i mean i'd like to have some pit trucks and i'd like to have some highway trucks just for ease of use of course um it doesn't make sense for me to use the pit trucks as mine trucks as well or you know what i mean highway trucks that's the word i'm looking for anyways get out of here gertie we'll see you a little bit but uh hopefully matilda's doing okay up there but guys things are looking looking pretty good right now i'm, I'm <laughs> this is fantastic so there folks i think we'll call it a day uh we've got a, some more work still to do here but you know what things are working out fairly well this is actually actually very efficient in the grand scheme of things look at this what is that Twelve thousand we've got up here it is crushing oh it's 120 never mind i was gonna say twelve thousand. that doesn't make any sense One hundred twenty-eight thousand liters in here um i don't know where you're going matilda but matilda i forgot to drop it off uh that happens um what about you gertie come on are you gonna Oh, Gertie's not going to drop this off. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, yeah, we still got lots more work still to do, guys. It's going to be the... It's going to be a little bit, but we've got... Look at the product we've got sitting right there, ready to go. This is perfect. We're making so much cash off this. Uh, I'm sure we're going to make a ton of cash off all that product. We just got to find a way to ship it out now. But getting it out of the pit, half the battle is done. Oh, yeah. It's looking so good. It's just really a matter of us uh, getting it out and back down into town now folks and things are coming together you know what one shipment down in there with a bunch of this product with both these trucks i'm sure we'll be able to make enough money to uh to afford to buy something that's more highway oriented but until then you know what we're gonna keep on doing what we're doing here keep on doing what we're doing things are coming together just perfect though oh it's so good look at that <laughs> this bulldozer is fantastic anyways folks i hope you guys enjoyed today's con construction and mining episode if you did you guys know what to do slap that like of course don't forget to subscribe folks if you haven't done so already and i'm gonna catch you next time from alberta this is clutch over and out oh man so good mm -hmm.